Hey everyone, it's Potato Pikachu and this video is going to be a bit interesting because I was asked in my Twitch chat about making a red themed inventory for on like a budget of some sort as it shouldn't be too expensive as not everyone can afford expensive red looking skins. But a red themed inventory is pretty popular given that a lot of people do like the color red. This could potentially be the cheapest red themed loadout in CSGO but I'm also not including a knife or gloves because I feel like that's just way too complicated and not everyone wants knives or a glove. I'm just going to keep it strictly towards the guns in CSGO. So if you do enjoy this video please like and subscribe it really helps the channel out and I really do appreciate all the support that you have given towards me and the channel. It's awesome and I just enjoy doing this as well. My Twitch channel twitch.tv slash potato pikachu with three u's will also be linked down below as well as my other socials that you can follow me on. Thank you guys for tuning in and let's get right into the red themed loadout. First up we have the USPS Cyrex in field tested condition going for $2.04. This is probably the cheapest USPS skin that has at least some red hints and some more red on towards the skin because the rest of the red themed USPS skins available in Cisco are pretty expensive. So this one is the best looking one for its cheap price and it's simplistic but the red really shines through the skin. However, if you're a P2000 user, we have the Obsidian going for 59 cents and the red is more prominent throughout the skin because you can just see it as you're holding onto the gun itself and it's a pretty nice looking one as black and red really go well together and this one is no exception. However, the P2000 is doo doo and I'm not going to take that back. Over on the T side, we have the Glock 18 Candy Apple going for 69 cents nice it's a very simplistic looking skin yet it's such a really nice one because black and red black and red always goes well together and this one is so simple yet it works really well on the gun itself given that it's not too big of a gun the red is really the main focal point of the candy apple and it really shines through and it looks really nice on the Glock itself. For the P250, we have the Muertos going for $3.77 and this one is an all around red themed P250 skin. It's just red all throughout the skin itself and it looks really cool with the intricate designs available and located throughout the entire P250. For people who really love red, this is the perfect skin for you. The Dual Beretta's Hemoglobin is going for $5.70 so if you're really into red, really really into red and you really love the dualies then I guess you can go for this. This is pretty expensive and this is probably the only dualies that are in red as well. So if you're really into it and you really want to complete that loadout, then go for it. The 5.7 Urban Hazard is in minimal wear condition going for 57 cents and this skin has been in the game for such a long time and I would say that it still looks pretty good. It's decent skin at best so cop it because I know that you're going to use the P250 instead because that's what I would do and the P250 is just way better. The CC75 Auto Red Aster is going for 42 cents and I would say that the red is pretty much highlighted throughout the skin and it is the main attraction to this skin as its name entails, Red Aster. It's a red looking CC75 skin and if you enjoy using the CC75 then go for this one because I would have recommended the Crimson Web but in field tested condition it's just way too scratched up and doesn't look as great. The Tech 9 Isaac is going for 89 cents and this is another red colorway black and red where it's just red highlights throughout the entire Tech 9 and if you like simplistic looking skins this is the one for you because this is basically red lines all over a black Tech 9. For an old skin I would say this kind of aged pretty well. If you're an R8 revolver god like me then we have the Crimson Web in a minimal wear condition going for around 50 cents and unfortunately there are still some scratches when you're using minimal wear but who cares, we have the famous R8 revolver, the best gun in the game and it's an awesome looking skin. And for the last of the pistols, we have the Desert Eagle Crimson Web going for $6.01 in field tested condition and unfortunately, this one is pretty beat up. It's very scratched and you can see it's not really a good looking Crimson Web skin. Um, the one I'm showing right now is in factory new condition so that's why it looks better but unfortunately for the Desert Eagle, this is the only red looking skin available. It's still cool though, right? But now we move on to the SMGs with the MP9 Ruby Poison Dart going for 93 cents. I would say that the art is kind of abstract in my opinion. It's just a bunch of like random squiggly lines all over the MP9 skin. Yet 
it kind of works in my opinion it works really well and it really blends in together with the orangish red themes throughout the entire mp9 skin itself and the black tones we have another candy apple skin though and it's on the mac 10 now it's going for 27 cents in factory new condition how crazy is that this is such a simplistic looking skin yet it's so clean and it works also really well on the mac 10 because it's not too big it's a pretty small form factor and it really highlights the red really well the UMP45 unfortunately doesn't really have any red themed UMP skins so the next best thing I could think of was the Moonrise and it's going for 42 cents. It's a purplish and reddish looking skin so it really works well in the color spectrum along with the red. Just think of this skin as a Doppler pattern right? It looks kind of like the Doppler themes and it still looks pretty cool. We got another beautiful candy apple skin but this time it's on the Pepe Bison for 24 cents in factory new condition. Such a beautiful looking skin, so simplistic, and it just works on this skin as well, even though it's a little bit bigger compared to the other candy apple guns. Maybe the candy apple can work on any gun, don't you think? Who knows? The MP5 also doesn't really have any red themed skins given that it's a relatively new gun compared to the rest of the other guns in CSGO. But I would say the Lab Rats, you can find a pattern where there are more red highlights throughout the gun and there are already some red themes through it too, so it's not a bad skin at all. We got the Bloodsport on the MP7 and it's going for $3.26. I would say this is the only covert skin in the loadout for a cheap price, so it's okay, right? It's not a bad looking MP7 skin. The Bloodsport is a super popular pattern and it's no exception on the MP7 in my opinion. Also, this is the only MP7 skin with red themes so i can only pick this one for the p90 noobs out there like me we have the shallow grave going for two dollars and 11 cents and i know that it's not really red explicitly it's more like pinkish red but unfortunately the more expensive p90 skins with red highlights are pretty much very expensive like over 20 bucks and i don't think any of you will spend that much on a p90 after all so i would say that this is probably the next best thing Oh yeah, we got another beautiful candy apple, this time on the Nova, for going for 20 cents in factory new condition. What a nice looking skin, right? I'm gonna keep on saying that for the candy apple because it's so simple and it's probably the easiest red looking skin to offer to you guys. It really helps that this skin is probably one of the cheapest looking patterns as well. For the XM1014, there weren't any prominent red themed skins that were pretty cheap. But I decided that the Heaven Guard was the best one out there and it's only going for $1.84 so take that as you will if you're looking to spend a bit more on the XM. It's an awesome shotgun that can destroy heads and be a meme gun in game too. We got the Mag 7 Heat going for $0.41 cents, and I know that this is pretty much a bit more orange than red but I would say that it still fits the criteria right? There aren't that many explicit uh, red themed mag 7 skins so i would say that this is a pretty good one for the sawed off we have the brake light in factory new condition going for one dollar and 34 cents and honestly i never even knew that this skin existed in a game that's how little i care about the sawed off and if you don't care about it either then just ignore this for the negev we have the lionfish going for 46 cents and there aren't any explicit red themed skins for the negev so we have nemo this is basically the nemo pattern and it looks okay, it looks pretty cool. We have a useless expensive gun here, the system lock going for 17 cents. It's really contrasting to how expensive this gun is in game where the skins are just super cheap because this gun is garbage. We finally move on to the rifles and we have the FAMAS sticks going for $2.50. This is a red themed FAMAS skin as the handle itself is red and there are red themes throughout the entire FAMAS as well along with the cool looking skulls throughout the skin so this is a pretty fire skin. For the glue, we have the signal going for 55 cents and I would say that this is a blend between more of like a red and maybe like a bit of orange as well. I would say it's not like too prominent of a red but I would say it still gets the job done and it also looks pretty nice as well. The evil daimyo for the M4A4 is going for $3.86 and this is the cheapest M4A4 skin that has red throughout the entire skin so I would say this is pretty good for a choice as the evil daimyo doesn't look bad at all. It's a very simple skin and it looks really cool. Unfortunately, cool is the only term I could really use to describe this skin. On the other hand, if you're an A1S user, we have the M4 A1S Cyrex 
going for $8.33. I know this is very pricey, but this is probably the cheapest A1S skin that has red throughout the entire gun because, I don't know, the cheapest A1S skins do not include red at all. I would say this is cooler than the Evil Daimyo. For the AK-47, we have the Orbit MK-01 going for $12.25. This is probably the cheapest one you can get that semi has red. I would say this is more like a rustic red, but hey, it still classifies as a form of red, right? And it works really well with a red themed loadout and it doesn't look bad at all, but I would say it's cool. Unfortunately, the AUG doesn't have any red skins. So the next best thing I could think of was the AUG radiation hazard going for 51 cents. Orange is pretty close to red, so I wouldn't say this is a bad choice at all. It doesn't look bad, and if you're an AUG user, I would say this skin is okay. The Candy Apple strikes yet again, and this time it's on the SG553. For field tested, it's going for 84 cents, which is not bad at all. But the SG553 isn't that great of a gun since it's been nerfed, but if you're an SG553 user, then rejoice. It's an awesome skin. For the scout, we have the slashed going for 63 cents and I know this is not red, this is orange as you can see but there aren't any cheap SSG skins that are red at all. I would say that maybe the higher tier skins like the Dragonfire or the Blood in the Water have red in it but I don't really value the scout as much so that's why I'm using the slashed instead. For the op, we have the red line and it's at a whopping $28.44. This is the most expensive skin in this loadout and there's not even that much red in this gun at all. It's just highlights of red itself but it still looks pretty cool. It's the iconic red line. Unfortunately, there aren't any cheaper red alternatives to the op so I'm sorry but this is the best you can do. The Scar 20 Bloodsport looks super cool going for $2.13 but honestly who really uses the Scar 20? A lot of people seem to hate it and I don't know it's an awesome skin right? But it's on the Scar 20 and barely anyone uses it. Same goes for the G3 SG1. We have the Executioner going for $2.13 but no one really uses it and this is not even red at all. I would say it's more like an orange but this is the best thing that you can get for this gun. Maybe don't get it at all. I also forgot to include that the pricing that I used for all these skins are from the Steam market so you can find them for cheaper on third party websites if you wish to do so but the total of everything from the loadout including the A1S and the other alternatives is a whopping $95.24. That's pretty pricey for a red themed loadout. But also, this is probably the cheapest one you can actually make for all the guns in the entire game. So maybe think twice before making a specific color themed loadout. But hey, if you have the money, then go for it by all means. It's your decision. It's not mine. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I really appreciate it as well. My socials like my Twitch channel and Twitter are linked down in the description down below if you would also like to follow those as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Potato Pikachu signing out. Peace.